When I was 18, I just graduated high school and, and my dad uh, passed away. He, so he was 39, um, had a heart attack, it was scary. And, and my dad didn't eat very well, um, didn't really take care of himself. So I just got really into food and fitness and nutrition. And it just, I think bare bones is kind of just a culmination of that. Bare Bones is a health food company specializing in stocks and bone broths that are really nutrient dense. The realization that nutrition could change my body and how I felt really was life altering. I danced for most of my childhood and early adulthood. When I was about 17 or 18, I started experiencing a lot of pain in my feet and it took years before I was diagnosed with arthritis in the, the ball joint of my big toe. The doctors told me at the time, there's really nothing we can do for you. Surgery's too risky. You could be paralyzed for life, especially because it affected both feet. For the rest of my life, I wouldn't be able to take another step without a lot of excruciating pain. Fast forward about five years and I met my husband, Ryan, and he introduced me to the paleo lifestyle. And I thought, well, this is interesting. I'll give it a shot. And so for the next 30 days, I went full carnivore paleo. And at the end of the 30 days, the pain in my feet disappeared for the first time in years. And it was then that I realized the true power of food and nutrition in healing our bodies. When Bare Bones started in 2014, it really was a side hustle for both of us. We started with liquid bone broth because that's my husband's background as a chef. More recently, we innovated into instant powdered bone broths. And in the beginning, I, I didn't, I wasn't thinking very big, um, at least certainly not as big as it's become. I threw up a website, I started making broth and in my house, packaging it in little containers, freezing it, and then shipping it across the country to whoever would buy it, which at first was like, you know, nobody. When the pandemic hit, people were panic buying food, mostly shelf stable food. Club stores were calling and just asking, you know, what do we have? What do you guys have to send us? Send us anything. We saw a severe increase in demand for our product and actually had trouble filling orders. The, the company now is fully remote. We have team members all over the country. We're based in Ohio. That's our official headquarters. My husband and I work from home. We have a little shipping room here. We have a little R&D lab here. He will disappear down into his lab or his, his cave for a few hours at a time. And then he'll emerge with something like super fragrant and put it in front of me, set it on my desk. I know you may not have time for this right now, but I want you to try it. I mean, there are days I skip lunch because I don't have room because of all the broth. <laughs> Catherine, uh, she's incredible, you know, she focuses on the big picture, the finances. Um, she, she allows me to continue to, to create products and to just kind of, you know, tinker. Ryan is the creative genius and he is the heartbeat of the brand. And then I'm the numbers person. When we first started, it was really analog. I was doing the bookkeeping. I was the one writing the paper checks and keeping the, the like, like handwritten log of what checks we had written and trying to time when folks were gonna deposit them. And inevitably, things fall through the cracks. Somebody doesn't deposit a check or they wait too long and they deposit it on just the wrong day and your cash flow is all jacked up. Bill.com now allows me to go in once or twice a week and approve bills or make notes on them if I have questions about them. Everyone emails their invoices straight to that one central inbox that's digital. Now we have team members all over the country, some of whom have to approve those bills before they're paid, and then others of whom schedule the actual payments and provide the backup to those recipients. There are a few tools that I call my power tools and Bill.com is absolutely one of those, and I don't see us being able to even function without it. That has freed up my time to focus on what I love, which is really the sales. I love going and opening new accounts and telling the bare bones story to other folks and coming up with a, a promotional strategy to get bare bones in front of more consumers and getting them to taste it, to try it, for it to change their lives the way nutrition changed mine.